Hi guys and welcome back to part 4 of the production tutorial series. Again we're going to be looking at synthesis today and we're going to be creating a kind of funk synth clav sound which is useful for a lot of different things. I actually made a quick demo today using Stevie Wonder's Superstition obviously as a reference point so you can have a quick demo of the sound itself in action and this is how it came out. So as you can see, it definitely doesn't sound like a real clavinet. Synthesizers have a bit of a problem emulating strings like that. But nonetheless, it's a funky sound, and it's definitely one we can use. So let's crack on with making it. Okay, so to begin, we're going to create a new patch. So file, new sound. And we're basically going to create this sound out of three oscillators, a couple of filters, and a little bit of modulation from both two envelopes and one LFO. So for oscillator one, we need to set this to rough math one and we're going to bring the wavetable position to about 10 o'clock and we're going to push this into filter 1 we're going to turn on oscillator 2 and we're going to choose guitar pulse and we're going to set the wavetable position to just after 2 o'clock just between 2 and 3 o'clock and we're going to push that one into filter 1 also and finally we're going to turn on oscillator 3 and we're going to choose guitar pulse for this as well but we're going to set the wavetable position for this one to just past 9 o'clock. Okay, that's basically it for the oscillators, apart from to push this one into filter 1 as well. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is modulate the oscillators ever so slightly with an LFO to get that kind of pitch variation that I've talked about in previous tutorials. So let's go to LFO 5, and we're going to assign this to each oscillator by clicking on the D-pad, then clicking on the pitch box underneath each one. Now we're going to give the first one negative 0.14 and we're going to give the second one 0.14 and the third one 0.14 as well. well. Let's just get the LFO set up a little bit. First of all we're going to drag the sine wave so it's peaking in the middle and we're going to push the crossfader up to the top. I'm going to set the rate to about 1 o'clock and make sure the amp is set all the way full. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now, let's just have a little test of the sound. You can see it's pretty horrible still. So what we're going to do is we're going to shape the amp slightly with an envelope. So let's go to envelope 4, which is connected to the amp mod, and let's make some changes here. First of all, we're going to bring the attack right down, and we're going to bring the decay up a tiny bit, and we're going to bring the level right down and the release right down as well so we're getting kind of a we're starting to get that kind of pluck sound that we need okay next thing we need to do is we're going to set up the filters so let's go to filter 1 and we're going to choose low pass 2 which is the 12 dB filter and we're going to turn on filter 2 as well which is already on and we're going to give that low pass 2 as well. Now basically what we're going to do is we're going to use filter 1 to kind of give us the shape of the sound that we want and we're going to use filter 2 to add a kind of wah-wah effect. So first of all I'm going to drag the filter slider all the way up to series because we want the series filter set up where the sound is going out of the oscillators out of filter 1 into filter 2 and out to the mix stage. So obviously I'm going to bring the mix 2 slider all the way down because we want it from the second filter not the first and we're going to bring the volume up from this filter. Now I'm going to set the cutoff 
of the first filter to just before three o'clock and I'm going to bring the resonance to just past nine o'clock. Now for filter two, I'm going to make some slight adjustments. I'm going to drag this down a little bit until it's just past nine o'clock as well. And I'm going to bring the resonance to about eleven o'clock. Now this setting in the low pass two on filter two is vital to how the wah wah effect sounds, so you might need to tweak it a little bit to get it sounding how you want. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up an envelope on filter 1 to give us the kind of shape of sound that we want. So let's go to envelope 2, and we're going to make some changes in this setup. So we're going to bring the attack right up to about 2 o'clock. And we're going to bring the decay up a little bit as well. And we're going to bring the level right up. And the release right down. So you're getting this kind of ramp shape. Let's just adjust for the decay a little bit more. Okay, and we're basically going to assign this to filter 1. So we're going to click on D-pad for that one and assign it to filter 1. And we're going to click and drag all the way down. So now if I play, it's very quiet, but you can hear that it's kind of cutting the filter off every time I trigger it. Okay, the next thing we need to do is set up filter 1 with another envelope to give us the wah-wah effect. So I'm going to go to envelope 1. And I'm going to set this up like this. I'm going to bring the attack to just past 9 o'clock. And I'm going to bring the level right up. And I'm going to bring the release up to about 11 o'clock. Okay, and I'm going to assign this to filter 2 for the cutoff. And I'm going to click and drag upwards this time until the end of a blue line is about 1 o'clock. So as you can see, we're going to get kind of that wire effect that we want. Okay, the next thing to do now is to set up the voicing tab. So we're going to go to voicing, and we're going to turn the unisono to 3. And we're going to put the pitch cutoff on. And we're going to just drag that until you can just see the first white line on the left of it. And we're going to turn on pan position. And we're going to drag that all the way to the right to give us a wide stereo feel for it. Okay, next thing to look at is the oscillator tab. And we're going to make some changes here. First of all, we're going to turn this onto mono. And we're going to remove the macro control for each of these. So right click and choose off. And we're going to bring rate up to between 12 and 1. So slightly just before 1. And I'm going to bring the depth up to about 8 o'clock. So basically, we've got this vibrato effect happening on the sound. Okay, next thing to do is set up the effects section. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to effects 1. And we're going to choose the tele tube. And we're going to bring the dry wet right way down to about 8 o'clock as well. And the drive all the way down until it's just about two clicks up from the bottom. Next we're going to go to effects 2 and we're going to turn on the delay. Now we want dry wet to about 10 o'clock, damp we can leave at 12 o'clock, time left we can leave at 12 o'clock and finally time right we want about just past 9 o'clock. Last thing to do is just turn on the EQ and we're going to get a little bit of high shelf and a little bit of low shelf, so we're boosting the bottom and top end slightly. And now the sound is like this. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and stay tuned for the next one.